Okay, let's talk about the blood vessel in the thoracic region. Okay, so let's cover the veins first. Obviously, that would be the structure that is in blue. Okay, you see here the right and left brachiocephalic vein emptying the right and left side. It will join together to become the anterior vena cava to bring blood back to the heart. Um, the next part is we're going to push aside the veins and we're going to focus on the arteries. Okay, that may be a little difficult because I don't want to remove the veins um, because then we'll get rid of it. Okay, but just kind of use your imagination to look beyond the vein and look at the arteries instead. So with that said, here we have the heart. Coming out of the heart, we have the great big aorta. This is the aortic trunk and it makes a curve so that would be the arch of the aorta. You will then see these branches and the first branch would be the brachiocephalic artery. Okay, um, obviously it only is on the right side here so this is the right brachiocephalic artery. It will split to become the right subclavian, that's the very first branch here, would be the right subclavian artery and then continue on up it splits again as you can see into one side and the other so this now become the right common carotid and this is the left common carotid artery okay so remember brachiocephalic on the right side dividing to become the right subclavian the right common carotid and the left common carotid okay Let's continue on to the second branch. The second branch is this branch right here. And this would be the left subclavian. Okay, this is equivalent to this one over here. Check out the arteries now. Um, as you can see, the aortic uh, trunk coming out of the heart is all of this. And it's going to give a branch. The first branch is this big trunk right here. This is the brachiocephalic artery is coming to the right side, so we call this the right brachiocephalic artery. It will give a first branch here, this would be the right subclavian artery, and the right subclavian will continue out into the arm and become the right axillary artery, which you don't see here. Um, the next branch you see is here, it's kind of below the, the blue vein here a little bit, but, uh, but you do see the branch here and here. Obviously on the right side it continues up the neck and this now becomes the right common carotid artery. On the left side it goes up the left side of the neck and this now becomes the left common carotid artery. Okay, let's go to the next branch off of the aorta. This is the arching of the aorta, so we call that the aortic arch. The second branch is this here and this is now the left subclavian artery. Okay, so here we have the left subclavian artery coming off of the aortic arch. Continuing on out, we are now about to leave the rib cage. So at this point, it becomes the axillary artery as it leaves the rib cage. And in this region, you will see a very prominent branch. Um, and can you see? Okay. We kind of tilt the cat a little bit here. So as we leave, is this better? Okay. Okay. So here we're leaving the rib cage and it now becomes the axillary artery. In the axillary artery region, you see a very prominent branch and that's this branch right here. This is the subscapular artery. Okay subscapular artery and then it continues on into the arm and it becomes the brachial artery okay now let's continue go back to the heart um, see how this aortic arch here we talk about the branching off of the aortic arch already but if we kind of push this aside you will now see the abdominal I'm sorry the thoracic aorta thoracic aorta coming down the thorax going to go through the diaphragm muscle and then become the abdominal aorta. Okay, and that's it.